Grinding in Gran Turismo 7 doesn't have to be boring. In fact, there's one race in particular, which is actually really quite fun. And because it's time limited, not lap limited, it means you can just do whatever you like. And as long as you finish first and as close to 30 minutes as possible, you get the exact same cash payout. In this video, I'm gonna go through an exact build which will give you exactly what I just told you. And it is the Toyota 86 Group B Rally Car car settings now. Uh, I've actually got two settings now. I'll show you the, the recommended setting, which is the easiest to drive, which will get you some really good credits. Uh, first of all, uh, and completely as we are on the screen, I'll run through it a bit more at the end of the video. But the setup that I'm gonna use is a loose version of this setup, and mainly because um, we've reduced the braking sensitivity on the LSDs, uh, we've changed the uh, torque vectoring on the center diff, uh, we've changed the brake bias all the way to the rear, uh, just to make the car loose, unstable, fun to drive, and let's get this one done. So let's enter the race now. Strategy for this race, uh, we can run four laps on fuel. If we run fuel map number six, uh, which we're going to go to right now and yeah let's see how this one works out guys now this car is unstable on the brakes that is the downfall of this vehicle but that is also the thing that makes it so much fun on the brakes now into these corners you can really just get the car rotated on the brakes and this car has got so much power considering we're running on fuel map number six it really does have so much power guys so you can be really quite aggressive with your inputs throwing the car around it does munch through the tires a little bit but even when the tires are completely worn we don't really suffer too much with a lack of traction with it being four-wheel drive rally car as you can imagine it's it's all about delivering that power when there's very little grip top speed wise it's massive guys well over 300 kilometers an hour look we're just blowing by these guys like they're standing still up 14th 13th position where we're we going to get by the end of the straight up to ninth before the end of the first straight a little bit sketchy on the brakes guys as you can hear the force feedback kicking in whoa <laughs> Subaru to the inside there very ambitious move from his owl there uh, but he's got no match for us on these straights. I'm playing this on hard difficulty guys We always play on hard difficulty Just to really test see how the vehicles are to see how the tune works at the hardest possible difficulty setting um, And honestly these guys haven't have no chance. I've got way too much power for them and we can have way too much fun On the brakes if you just get make sure the cars pointed in a straight line when you're on the brakes just keeps this car stable. Now, once we've kind of cleared a bunch of these guys, we can start to have a bit of fun with the car, getting the car a little bit sideways on corner entry, trying to power out um, on the corner exit. And the center diff, the torque vectoring center diff, we can change on the fly to get the balance uh, for uh, how much power gets sent to the front wheels on corner exit. A bit of a car park going on here. really start to work the car now and get the, get the rear end moving around the four-wheel drive car has got so much grip you can just play as much as you like throwing the car in and guys it's it's a 30 minute race it doesn't matter how fast you drive the goal with this race is just cross the line just after 30 minutes and win that that's all the requirements are it doesn't matter what lap times you do doesn't matter how fast you do it yes it's quite a playful car guys I really enjoy this and then with Le Mans you have the uh, variable weather conditions uh, so it can completely kick off and be completely wet uh, and we've got four-wheel drive so we are in a perfect position uh, to deal with the adverse weather a quick interruption to the current race you're watching because it didn't rain in that one but in this one it did rain so I'm going to show you exactly the benefits of having four laps of fuel in the car we're on lap number four there was no rain until end of lap number four. The rain's coming in now. You can see on the radar, we've got rain coming. And if I'd have pitted on lap number three, 
and put a fresh set of racing hard tyres on, I would be in a whole lot of trouble because I have to pit again for tyres. Now the rain's about to come down and we need to pit for fuel. I can't get the car stopped into the pits. So yeah, perfect timing on this pit stop. But now guys, you can see how this car drives in the wet. Four wheel drive. It's absolutely fantastic, I love it. Looking at the uh, torque split, I think you can just tune it to be exactly how you want it to be. You can tune it completely on the fly. Guys, you see that graphical error there? I thought that was a PS4 exclusive graphical error. Uh, yeah, but it seems it's still available in PlayStation 5. So I've spent 500 quid on a PlayStation 5 and the graphical bug still exists. Come on, PD, sort it out. Anyway, torque split center diff is absolutely fantastic on these four-wheel drive cars because you can tune the car to be exactly how you want it to be. In the wet, we're gonna brake a little bit earlier, just to be cautious. Get the car set up for a nice little Scandinavian flick. And a bit of a drift on corner exit. Oh yeah, that's absolutely fantastic. This, this car in the wet is so good. Rally cars in Gran Turismo 7 are the most underrated cars. Oh wow, the rain's mega. Look at the rain. Oh, this is absolutely monster rain. Okay, I'm glad we've got... Ah, oh, it's only intermediate, so I should have already gone on full wets. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> that was a bit of a wrestle. <laughs> Get the car rotated. Absolute rally style. Is there a better car to have on a wet track than a rally car. Change my mind, rally cars in Gran Turismo 7 are the most underrated cars. Oh boy, this is a problem. Lots of standing water going down the back straight at 250 kilometers an hour at Le Mans. I'm a bit scared about this one, guys. Get on the brakes now, I think. It just deals with it, it's all good. Yeah, this car is absolutely dull. When the rain comes down, it's so good. So now you've seen how awesome the car is in the wet. So I'm going to hand you back to the main race now, where we're going to get that race finished in an almost perfect time. Oh, there we go. Getting that car sliding on the brakes. Here we go, starting to work the car. Now, this isn't the ideal way to drive. I wouldn't recommend if you're inexperienced or unsure about getting the win it's definitely not the fastest way to drive this car but it's just fun guys why not have some fun with the cars oh, weren't really paying attention they always got a bit of a swaz on then so this is our pit lap end of lap number four we're going to make it easy to the end of lap number four on fuel map number six now be careful with the pit lane here you have to drive in yourself and then we're going to set a new set of racing hard tires there's no weather going to be a problem right now so racing hard tires and we're going to fill up the car to the maximum we only need to do three laps on this set of tires and this pit stop because 15 minutes left in the race 15 minutes where's the race timer i can't see it if you are liking this video, so 13 minutes, I see it, it's in the corner there. Uh, if you are liking this video so far, guys, then make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm all about making those build videos to help you get faster and earn credits in Gran Turismo 7. Also, check out the membership. Uh, I've got memberships available on my channel. Uh, go and check them out. There'll be links in the description to other interesting things. And we're going to put some fuel in this car and get back to this one. Fresh set tyres for us to go and destroy. And there we go, guys. That uh, torque distribution is basically this swazometer. Uh, more, <laughs> more to the rear equals more swaz. It's a shame we. It's shame. Oh, that was a big one. It's a shame we can't set 100, really, guys. And that's what I'm saying. This is this is the fun build because the amount of top speed it's got, we can do whatever we want. We really have no competition in this race at all 
even more so when it rains because the four-wheel drive in this car helps so much everybody else spinning around in two-wheel drive cars the Lamborghinis four-wheel drive there are a few four-wheel drive uh, group three cars in here sorry group four cars in here uh, but our four-wheel drive on this car is immense so what we're going to do now is we're going to dial back the uh, torque vector into 50-50 and we'll just see how the car feels to drive so the car is so much safer on corner exits all four wheels driving 50% to the front 50% to the rear and it just pulls out the corner if anything is a bit of uh, on power understeer I've got a full video on my channel explaining all LSD settings for front, center and rear diffs in uh, Gran Turismo 7 so make sure you go and check that one out yeah the car just feels really tight now with 50-50 torque distribution at the center I mean it's super easy to drive but the fun factor has gone down quite a lot This would be the kind of situation where you put it into 50-50 when it starts raining a lot. If you've had a big crash and you need to kind of work back through the field to, to make sure you get that win, uh, then just put the torque to 50-50, make it safe, and then just, just drive the car. It's very easy to drive like this. Even when the car slides, it just, it just on power, it brings it itself back into control. That would have been a big crash if I had to talk all the way to the rear. So let's go and try that now. Working the car on the throttle. Oh yeah. Yeah, the fun is back on guys. <laughs> talk bias to the rear. Swazometer is off the charts. I actually need to be careful not to crash it because I want to get exactly 30 minutes on the race time. I'll tell you what, look guys, let, let's get on this one. Maximum attack for this last lap. Maximum swaz, maximum speed, let's see what we can do. Look at the tyre wear guys, having the torque vectoring all the way to the rear has absolutely destroyed the rear tyres. Um, which is fine, it's all good um, but if you are concerned about tyres like I am not so much oh that's a big one wow oh yeah this is absolutely fantastic guys look at this oh I'm gonna I thought I was going to lose that then. That was absolutely incredible. Full concentration required. And look at the race time, guys. Countdown to finish the race. We are almost perfectly on schedule. Oh, what have I done? Oh, we needed to waste some time anyway. But yeah, there's the line. As you can see, timing wise, this car works perfectly. I'm going to cross the line and boom final lap there's the checker flag finish that's how you do it guys that is the fastest way you can possibly do this race including 360 no scopes drifting all of the good stuff and the best way to do it the only way you can do it is to win the race and finish as close to 30 minutes as possible it doesn't matter how fast lap times you get nothing really matters the only way you can win the race is just 30 minutes so there you go guys, that is the best way to make money at Le Mans World Touring Car 700 and have fun doing it. You can just do whatever you want, just do the 7 laps, do it just as close to seven, uh, 30 minutes as you can and you're all good. Now I'm going to run through the car settings in a bit more detail with you. Um, and um, first of all I'm going to run through the recommended setups. Uh, so we'll go through and I'll talk you through exactly why I made the settings as they are. So racing hard tyres just to get the durability, just to get the long uh, stints that we need from the fuel tank, uh, one stop strategy. Uh, downforce is maximum for front and rear, there's not much downforce in this car no matter what. 
a high rpm turbocharger we're just going to get the maximum power from the car steering angle kit you could put the steering angle kit on the car if you wanted to to get more uh, drifting style fun uh, aside from that uh, nothing else is is bought from the tuning shop uh, high rpm turbocharger uh, brake balance if you want the car to be safe use the brake balance more towards the front uh, fully customizable racing transmission i just changed this to 340 i didn't bother changing the individual ratios but on screen right now it is what i uh, have in there i didn't bother changing these individually uh, no nitrous um i don't know if that's possible to use actually that's interesting uh nothing on power restrictors uh and now down to here the body height uh lowest possible uh for the front uh five away from the lowest on the rear uh, I, I stiffened up the front anti-roll bar to make the car a little bit more stable on the brakes. It's very darty on the brakes, so uh, front anti-roll bar is 10. Uh, went a little bit stiffer on the front compression. Uh, I left the damping ratio the same. The natural frequency for the uh, damp uh, springs, uh, they are at 240 for the front, 230 for the rear. Uh, I left the cameras maybe where they were, I can't remember. Uh, 0.5 is, is what I'm using uh, and here is all the LSD settings uh, this is for the safe version of the car uh, the LSD with higher braking sensitivity makes the car more stable on the brakes and off throttle uh, switching to the loose setting which is the, the more fun uh, version you can see here we just lowered them to just minimum uh, and this is the uh, torque distribution you can change this on the fly during the race uh, again, as we said, that's a swaz setting. More uh, torque to the rear equals more swaz on corner exit. And we all love a bit of that, don't we? So that's the setting, guys. If you want to know more about LSDs in all-wheel drive cars specifically, go and click the video just here. You can learn everything you need to know to get the car dialed into exactly how you need it to be.